Every YouTube channel needs some kind of introduction. Today, we are writing a music to that video. During that process, we are going to share all the information, all the details behind the scene, and share our own perspective on the subject. Let's get started. We are chopping that subject to five different episodes. Remember, the video will last no longer but than between 20 and 30 seconds. But the amount of work what we have to put into it, it's tremendous. Hopefully, these videos will help you to ease that process. And with a certain guidance, you will get better with your approaches. We did a certain prep. We chose our instrumentation. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our team of the day. Let me introduce the goalkeeper of that day. Track number one, Easy Drummer from Tantrak. Track number two, representing Ample Sound, Brian New Bass TR6. <laughs> Player number three, representing ample sound, guitar SH. Number four, representing the MPC X electric piano. Number five, representing native instruments, noir. Number six. Number six, representing the same company, the Grindier. Number seven, representing MPCX, Studio Strings. Number seven from our contact library, Session Strings. Number nine, representing a session horn from Contact Library. Number eight, 
number 10. Representing NPC X. Once we have chosen team, now we can fool around with it. I love to go into the essence of the harmony itself and harmony movement. Today we are going to reverse the order and concentrate on a beat first. I just want, I'm curious what I can achieve by doing so. So it's going to give me a slightly different perspective how I treat the bass because the drum, drum set will be already in place. The time signature what we want to pursue today it's based on triplets, 116 triplets. Ta 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 That's the beat. Eight bars should give me enough space to introduce the music to the listener's ear. Of course, we are going to copy the whole thing. When I do that, my MPCX creates additional sequence. I go to the essence of that track. I, sel I select all, copy, and then I will go to my sequence. which is called intro. And just drop it there. Let's take a listen. All right. Now, to make sure that it's, it's played from the track what we just created. I'm going to delete the essence from easy and drum a window. And then, yeah. All right. Uh, Latin Cuban. Let's see how this will sound like. So I'm choosing now what kind of flavor. Okay. Dream pop. Okay. So I want to create like a hybrid uh, sound of that beat. Now let's record the bass to it. Uh, I'm choosing E flat minor seven today. The bass, what we choose, and this is a very interesting story. The bass, what we choose, comes from ample sound called TR6. And it's a very interesting choice and the subject itself. The bass belongs to John Patitucci. John Patitucci is one of my favorites, favorite bassists ever. His tone is incredible when you see him playing live. And I'm talking about electric and also acoustic, phenomenal sound. The way he pursues the notes and the phrasing, it's extraordinary. 
From my understanding, he signed a contract with a company called Yamaha. And Yamaha created this custom base just for the John Patitucci. So basically, there's a lot of impact of him into that production. In the end of the day, the ample sound embraced that sound and created a VST plugin. I cannot believe that I can take his bass and fool around with that sound by using the fingers. So I'm extremely thrilled to introduce this bass to a family of basses we already have. And this is the first time we are going to apply it. It's good for now. So now I will try to fool around with that instrument. Record from the beginning, play it start. There we go. Of course, I can change the notes, articulation, no problem. I'm looking for this uh, idea of the groove. Now, the bass itself of the drum set, it's awesome. But I have a different idea of how to pursue it. Now, look what happened. I can use the shift button on my MPC XSE and select multi tracks. So I'm going to press shift and choose bass with electric piano. Right? It, we already got like a more depth into that punch. Now let's take it to the next level. We've got two instruments. How about if we include one of the pianos? Beautiful. So look, we could totally copy what we have for the bass and spill the essence towards other instruments. you're playing it would be different from what we recorded in the previous take. Okay, so I don't like the the last two bars, so we are going to drop something else. Something like this. Once again, shift, electric piano, and uh, over that, very important, and play, not play from the start. Okay, we can always adopt different uh, playing. The guitar. What we can do with the guitar? Well, the last thing I want to do is to repeat that E flat minor 7. Oh, maybe something like that. Let's just play full around. And then something like this.
okay, there is a potential in this. Pa pa pa. Let's just uh, record again. Ove it up because I don't want to erase everything, but I want to play from the start. record the same thing over here now overdub and play okay now uh, this section we could change like we could play something after this. This is not an editing video, but I'm already seeing or hearing some things in my head. I would love to like uh, punch them in, if, if you don't mind. Over there. All right, let's listen from the top. And of course, later on during the editing, we can put some kind of reverb on it, some horrors. It's going to be spectacular. But uh, everything is correct. Everything fits into that profile of E flat minus seven. All right. Beautiful. Guitar is done. Moving to electric piano. So for some reason, I've got this pedal going on. Let's try it again. And. MPCX, it's a beautiful device, lots of fun. However, there's a certain limitation. Like, um, I want to copy the, the material from Easy Drummer and dump it into a specific track, and I can't do it. It's just, I have to go through some kind of a new sequence and then transform the material. Now, when it comes to, you see, electric piano and... Uh, uh, Acoustic piano, I can record both at the same time. Perfect. However, if I decide to mute electric so I can hear only acoustic about at the same time, time record the essence to electric, I can do that because MPCX unleashes that mute and I can hear both. So the only option right now I have is just to select the grandier and then just record the essence, and then if I like it, I can copy it to electric piano. Let's try it. something like this. Thank you. 
So it's important that we try different things. I could repeat the same thing and try to be perfect with it, or just search somewhere else. So your mind is open, uh, your senses are vulnerable, and you just fool around with it. I love this pop lately. I don't like this, uh, what's happened after that. So we're going to keep it over that, but play from the start. Moving forward. Studio strings. Let's just play with it. So we like everything except the last. Okay, it doesn't bother us at all. Uh, session horns. Uh, full session for trumpet, trombone, trombone two, trumpet, tenor sax. Uh, full, how does it sound? Okay, now instead of drop and drop two, drop one. Let's see what happens. So it's all about how they control the the chord. If I play such chord, they will there will be a certain spread involved um, in this exchange. All right. Let's combine this with our synthesizer. So this is a horn section and with the horn MPCX. Yeah, it's more inspiring that way. Let's record these two. But when and how?
So we are talking about a YouTube channel called Royal Composer. I want, you know, the like a royal sound. Include that royal sound. At the same time, I know that I want to play that music over and over again, so I don't want to overload it right away. Just up oh, over dub. Again, over that, because I want to keep some. Horns and session horns. Oh, so weird. Papa Something like that. Now, over that play, we know what to do. There are some mistakes, but our goal is to spill as much, as many ideas as possible. All right, this is what we have so far from the beginning. Um, session, I'm gonna go to uh, and just eliminate these two because I don't know why. And the same thing, it's gonna happen towards the other horn. Uh, that's it. Yeah, we go. From now on, we can manipulate the sound by changing the sound of the drum set, by adding another drum set, by adding percussion instruments, uh, another layer of instrument. But today it's just recording a session with 10 different layers of music. We accomplished that. 
are looking forward to the next video in the part two we are going to create another sequence but instead of we are going to copy the previous sequence but instead of using it we are going to delete most of the tracks from it and then start from the scratch thanks to this we are going to create a, a huge contrast between sequence one and sequence two so stay tuned we all want fast results. Unfortunately, the music takes time. We are doing everything we can to provide as much content as possible. When we rock, work on your videos, time flies, and all of a sudden I'm sitting with like three hours of footage related to that video one first. Just be patient. Follow the guidance and we will all benefit from that journey. My name is Piotr Kowalczyk. We will see you next time.